if you were going to say out of all these different applications of technology in the classroom, this area in particular had a real impact on achievement, what would what would that be? Well, so reading fluency is one of the low-hanging fruits because that's something that takes a lot of repetition. And so if you're looking for some quick gains in reading fluency, that was one of our first steps in. And that's nice because kids can, they'll do a cold read with the teacher and then they can spend the next 15 or 20 minutes practicing over and over and over again themselves and recording their voice, hearing it back, looking for errors, working on fluency. Um, so we've had huge gains in fluency. Um, that's across the board. That came in and that also helped our math scores. So now you've got the math. Um, and math scores went up because kids got better at reading because they can now understand the story problems that came in at third and fourth grade. That's when the story problem kind of stuff starts. Um, I would say that our reading scores are going up, and that's K through 12. That's at our high school, our struggling readers are using both iPod Touch and an iPad. You know, and they have books that they can look up an inline dictionary, boom, here it is. In our remedial reading classes, are, uh, one of my favorite quotes is from um, Joan Flora at the high school. She says, the iPods are changing non-readers into readers. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. That, that's her quote, right? Um, but you could see the kids that we were just uh, in that classroom, they were very focused. They were excited about getting online and, and hearing the books. and They're um, reading books that are content appropriate, just not necessarily reading level appropriate. So they're having somebody to read to them. Um, so audiobooks have been a huge success. I mean, even at the most basic level, if you were talking about just replacing basic classroom technologies, you give every kid now a calculator, okay? Dictionary, okay, thesaurus, yeah, encyclopedia, yes, now you got a globe. Now you got a voice recorder, now you got a connection to the internet. Those are the most basic built-in tools. Okay, then you go from there. Where else do you go from there? Well, now you can see all the science things. Now you can see the, um, here's some interesting things on math. Let's practice a little bit of this. Let's work on our algebra. Let's practice uh, uh, math facts against each other head-to-head. -head. Let's use a whiteboard like an old-school slate. Who's got the answer? Put it on your iPod and hold it up. You know, so... There are just lots of little entry points. I think that people get stuck in the complexity that they've got to be able to sync a million apps. If you didn't sync them once and just use the built-in apps, you would already see gains in simple things. Reading fluency, using the audiobooks on the, the iPod functionality built-in, um, you know, just practicing things like that. So that would be very easy to start with.